So we're on top of Mount Diablo. This is a very windy road and we are headed towards the intersection of some fourth level node. Wow. Yeah, energy lines we're that create a node. Okay, something's happening. Oh, there's another, there's another one. Ooh. And we're gonna expect this to happen because the road is winding. You can't really tell but okay. And what the other thing that's interesting is these lines are getting um, expansion. They're getting um, wider. What do you call it? They're expanding. Yes. Starting to feel then, massive energy. Like a lot of head, pre head pressure. A lot of head pressure up here. Oh wow, it was. Okay, so it picks up a vortex. It's picking up a vortex. It's wide and circular. And so it's showing a little bit of a different energy pattern there. Yes. And that was not happening at the lower elevation. Right. My ears just popped. <laughs> we're, we're up here at elevation. intersection really and the I have not seen these dousing rods do this before uh, you can see for yourself they were both for a moment going the same direction there we go so it's doing that vortex thing that they do but this is at the intersection of the uh, what do you call it level four the node yes this is the node at Mount Diablo we're here and we're at 3,000 feet and we're getting to see some really cool activity with the dousing rods we're also feeling a wonderful energy. It's just amazing up here. Feels really good. And what I'm noticing too is this pulsing. It's like it, there's activity and it stops. And it's not just the wind. There is some breeze, but it's not the wind doing that. So I was um, just saying hello to the energy lines. I'd say hello to each one. I was just giving them numbers to, to say hello. And I noticed that there was a difference on um, one of the four energy lines. It was the second one that I checked. I was also checking the nodal convergence and then, and then the spirit uh, of the actual mountain itself. So it um, feels like there is a little bit of benefit to doing a meditation probably to clear all four, although they've been they've clearly been cleared, but there's something where we could just do a little extra clearing from one of the lines, and um, so we can do a meditation to tune in, see what we pick up, and yeah, okay. we can see. So, so we might be quiet for a while. So. Yeah, so we'll come back. Mm -hmm. So what I picked 
picked up was that one of the lines has kind of a like a squealy break to it instead of a nice solid run through, which I think is what you're picking up. Yeah. And it needs a healing. Yes. Is it, it, right. A repair or something. I'm not sure what happened, but mm -hmm. there's this wavy quality to it instead of a nice solid straight right. line. So the creation node is mm -hmm. is basically um, what I'm seeing is uh, something similar to see when you see an airplane map of where people where these companies fly to. So this node is connecting with another node, connecting to another node, and it's a network that's being created with these nodes. Um, that's what it feels like to yeah. me. The creation network. And when I'm tuning into it, I'm getting such a deep, um, low bass harmonic. It feels like super low, um, extra low frequency. Mm -hmm. Like the kind of thing when you get so low that it's um, almost below conscious awareness. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of cool because when you're creating from there, um, it's a very, um, it's a very earth kind of creation. It's, uh, it's like hearing the earth sing. Yeah. You know, if you've ever heard the earth sing, I've heard the earth sing, I'm sure you have. And um, it's this very low, 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 um, deep uh, vibration that is just beautiful and anchoring and you can feel all the levels at the same time. It's very non-verbal. Yeah. So it's pre-language, but it's um, language of the soul language of the heart and it's and, and the kind of creation that seems to be happening I, I, th I don't think we recorded this it was where you were mentioning the gateway to this new world this oh yeah yeah it feels like that's what this is about these nodes right are the eyes of creation as these nodes connect to one another they are creating the new world they're part of participating and creating that that makes it effortless and it should make it effortless for humans to tap into this kind of uh, connection and inspiration and sometimes humans feel um, foc too focused on the problems but with this kind of vision it can be possible to explore a sense of of genuine prosperity that's that's um, sustainable and and it just keeps building in a very positive way without um, overinflation or some kind of, you know, typical problem that humans can get into. <laughs> yes, and, and through this video, anyone watching will be able to tap into this energy. Yes, we are, we're setting the intention we're that you can feel what we're feeling and join in this process of participation and the eyes of creation yes. on this journey. It feels like it's beginning. It feels like what we're tuning into, thanks to these, uh, the dragon, the emperor dragon lines, which is not here, by the way, but we just came to this because we felt called. <laughs> but all of these energy lines are, um, when they converge at these points, it's possible for people to become part of this process. Yes. Even if you're not doing anything other than just being quiet. Um, so some people might feel they don't pick up on what we're picking up on. That's okay. Um, like like you said, just watching the video is good. If you're able to visit a place, that's good. And uh, it's really surrender, not worrying about if you're picking up what some what one of us picked up. You know, because Melinda gets one thing and I, Cynthia, get something else. But you might just feel like I just feel peaceful, and that's good too. Mm. And it's, it's just surrendering, accepting, and trusting that there's a collaboration in the works. And through intention and awareness and these levels of awareness of self, that's, that's where magic really does happen. The eyes of creation is a co-collaborative process. Yes. Love it.